just when we thought we actually had a little bit of certainty about where things are, Jim Jordan has reversed himself and decided that he will, in fact, push for a third speaker vote. This decision came after a furious backlash from the rank-and-file Republicans supporting him. They were outraged that the next plan was going to be to empower Patrick McHenry, who is the speaker pro tempore right now, with just a few extra powers so that, you know, we could, like, keep the government open and deal with, like, the wars burning all over the planet. But no, they felt that that would be effectively ceding control of the House floor to Democrats and it would, you know, set a bad precedent. Or to put it another way, unable to unite behind a candidate to lead them, the GOP can't even agree on a temporary solution to allow the House to function and to get us out of chaos. All because a handful of far-right Republicans consider doing anything that is a compromise and solves this problem to be handing power to Democrats, even though that is not at all what would be happening. That is what we're dealing with, you guys. Infighting that absolutely sacrifices the well-being of Americans to political extremism. Call your Republican representatives. Tell them to get with it and stop sabotaging the American government. Nobody loves the Patrick McHenry compromise, but it is the only one we've got right now. And hearing that that compromise is dead because Republicans are too extreme is just not an option. And calling another vote for bully, MAGA, extremist, unqualified Jim Jordan, who also doesn't have the votes, is also not an option. When Scott McFarlane tweeted that the Republican Party is nowhere, he's actually wrong. They're somewhere. It's called Bedlam, and it's not a place you ever want your government to be. Let's hit the phones, y'all.